Fox News alert, the top Secret Service official in charge of presidential protective units announced he's retiring this week. Michael Plotty, who's been with the Secret Service for 26 years, will step aside and sail off into the sunset on Friday with full benefits and honors. Despite the fact that Trump was nearly killed on his watch, sources inside the agency tell Fox that Secret Service officials encouraged Plotty to step aside following the Butler assassination attempt. But publicly, they're saying the retirement's been in the works for a while. The Secret Service should have frog-marched this guy out of the office a month ago. Instead, they're burying his retirement announcement on the day of a presidential debate. Reminder, no one's been fired since Butler. Former director Kim Cheadle resigned under duress. And field agents, instead of getting in trouble, they're allowed to work from home. Melania Trump just said things don't add up. The attempt to end my husband's life was a horrible, distressing experience. Now, the silence around it feels heavy. I can't help but wonder, why didn't law enforcement officials arrest the shooter before the speech? There is definitely more to this story, and we need to uncover the truth. Congressman Mike Walls is a member of the Assassination Task Force, and he joins me now. Congressman, it's pretty significant that the former First Lady is saying things don't add up and she needs answers. What does that mean to you? Well, she's right. Things don't add up, and it's why the Speaker established this task force. Uh, and uh, I got to tell you, Jesse, it's, it's really mixed so far. I think the task force is really taking a bottoms-up approach uh, they're conducting dozens of interviews with local law enforcement first, five different agencies, multiple site visits, again, a dozen, dozens of transcribed interviews. The Secret Service, on the one hand, has uh, given us about 2,400 documents, but that takes time to sift through all of that. But on the other hand, here's the disturbing part. They have a, apparently a standard protocol to do an internal review of 45 days and then 60 days. They're not really talking to the local law enforcement or any of these agencies or the other federal agencies or even the state police. Why? Because they're waiting and deferring to the FBI to finish their investigation. And the FBI has given us the good old, you know, hey, yeah, they're slow don't ask us too it. many questions. We'll give you a few updates, right. but it's un under investigation. Right. And the thing that is so frustrating, this isn't an isolated incident just to look into once and take a while. There's ongoing threats. There's Iranian assassination attempts. We just had the, the uh, incident out in Arizona, an ongoing campaign. Uh, with the president very much out there in the public, we need lessons learned now. We need those reviews done now. And what's going to change besides a couple of glass wall, you know, or fiberglass walls in front of him when he's outdoors? What have you learned about the shooter's behavior leading up to Butler that day? Well, clearly he was training. He was preparing. Uh, what we can't get a straight answer from the FBI on is, uh, you know, he, he built three IEDs with remote detonators. But what we can't get a straight answer is what really radicalized him? What drove the motives? They keep telling us, well, we're making progress in getting into these multiple encrypted overseas accounts, but we're not getting any documents or what they're finding. Let me ask you this, Jesse, if this were like a tatted up white guy wearing a MAGA hat that took a shot at Kamala, you think the FBI would be taking months and months to get right. the behavioral analysis out right. there and paint a picture of them? Right. Heck no. So uh, I think the, the first lady is absolutely right to say what the heck is is going on here. I mean, yeah, that's and she's what we're not saying some, this, She's not some conspiracy force. theorist. She's the former first lady of the no. United States. She smells something that's fishy and she wants answers. The... This guy's suspiciously retiring all of a sudden. He's out. He was in charge of everything. Now he's gone, just disappears into the background. What, what does that tell you? He should have been suspended pending the results of this investigation because his job was the, the senior assistant director 
that approved all of the plans and the manpower allocation. Like wow. One of the outstanding questions I have, why were 12 agents sent to Dr. Jill's event indoors with no foreign uh, assassination threats uh, about the same time that only three agents were sent to President Trump's outdoor with active and ongoing assassination right, So this plots guy, and, this and guy's plans. name so is what? What is, is this guy's guy name? It. What is this? Plotty? Okay. This guy's Michael key. Plotty. Michael, Michael Plotty, Plotty is key. He has That's answers. Right. He needs That's to right. be questioned. He needs to be interviewed. I want to see the transcripts. We need to get those transcripts because this guy knows something. And disappearing, this act right now, that's not right. I, uh, I don't like that. Well, he's, he's not going to be out of the reach of this committee, but, uh, you know, what's the service doing about it? And what are they looking into? And what accountability, which is a buzz, just something that this administration can't wrap its mind around. And one other thing, Jesse, President Trump nailed it last night when he looked at Harris and said, you know what, this rhetoric about got my head blown off on national television. They've gone right back to all of the, you know, calling him Hitler, a threat to democracy, and all of those things, when literally the Iranians are trying to kill him right now as we speak, not to mention radicalizing, I guess, the next high school kid. All right, you have a big briefing with the Secret Service tomorrow. Let's uh, stay on top of that. Please tomorrow. keep us in the loop. Thank you very much, Congressman. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.